this morning. It's about a South Carolina city announcing that they are prohibiting trick-or-treating because of COVID-19. So the city of Chester posted this on their social media pages. It's getting a lot of reaction now this morning. They are banning trick-or-treating and saying in this post that they're offering up a police sanction and safer alternative, like bootastic a drive through event. Now, the CDC has put traditional trick-or-treating in its high-risk category, but South Carolina's Department of Health and Environmental Control also did put out a list of Halloween safety recommendations, and in it, they say that trick-or-treating can be done safely as long as everyone is wearing a face mask and social distancing. So a lot of people are expressing their opinions about this decision. Robin, who says that she takes COVID very seriously, says that her family was setting up a table with candy and that they would hang out six feet behind it in their costumes. But Amanda is saying that it's weird that kids can't go trick-or-treating outside, wear a mask, maybe socially distance, hopefully, and... Um, but they can go back to school and be inside in a classroom. So let us know what you think about this decision. I went under this news article and saw that people were really mad that they can't take their kids trick-or-treating. I was appalled. Are y'all taking your kids trick-or-treating? I'm renaming it this year. It's not trick or treating. It's trick or treatment. You go trick-or-treating, you're going to need treatment. I, why is y'all? It is not a necessity. Why would you want your kid to go to all your neighbor's house get all this COVID candy, and then bring all that COVID candy back in your house. Now you got five, six strands of COVID running around your house. Trick and treatment. That's what you need now. Now you need trick and treatment. I, trick and treatment. I'm like, what? And if you really wanted to, you can still go. You can go November 1st and ask your neighbors for candy. You can go on Christmas and ask your neighbors for candy. You can go anytime you want. But you better ask them for that COVID too. I stopped believing in Halloween once that sex offender website came and you can put in your address and it'll show you how many, all them red dots of all the sex offenders around you. So y'all sending y'all kids to get sex offender candy? Oh no, I, I can't. Sex offender COVID candy. No, I'm not doing it. I'm, I, just, I just want y'all to be safe because it's family. People watch, like, I, I Please don't take the kids trick or treating. Like I said on the video, put the put the, hide the candy around the house. Y'all want to go knock on the door? Let's let's close all the doors in the house, and you go knock on the bathroom door. Somebody go be on the other end. You knock on your sister room door. Somebody be on the other end. Put on your costume. Let's go live on the Facebook and do a party. Be safe out here, y'all. We can't. <sighs> y'all around here giving these kids sex offender COVID candy. Bye.